Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I am Atul and in this video we are going to discuss how you can create a copy of an existing report in Data Studio or Looker. So this feature is quite useful when you have already developed any dashboard and it's up and running but suddenly you have a new requirement to add something in that dashboard. Then it's not advisable to go and start updating the published dashboard or the running dashboard. So what you need to do is that you need to create a copy of the current dashboard which is live and then you have to add the new requirement and once you are done with the new addition or updation then you can put this new dashboard as a live version and discard the previous version. So for example suppose this is my dashboard where I have graph from multiple data sets and somebody comes and, say, and says to me that instead of this graph I need a table. Now if I have added a table on this live or published dashboard there might be a possibility that something can go wrong or when you're developing it the people can come to this dashboard and they will see that the first graph or chart doesn't show data. So in order to avoid that situation what you need to do is that you need to create a copy of this existing dashboard and then on that copied dashboard you can play around and add the new requirements that has been given to you. So in order to create a copy of an existing dashboard you need to open that dashboard first. Once you have opened that dashboard then you have to go to edit section then you have to go to file and you have to click on make a copy. Once you clicked on that make a copy then the docker will give you this option of copying this report and selecting the multiple data sources. So for us we need all the data sources so that all the graphs and charts and tables can be replicated from the previous dashboard. So I'll click on copy report. Once you've done that then you can see over here that the Google Data Studio or Looker is creating a copy of this dashboard. So you can see over here this was our previous dashboard and the name was GDS58 once we created the copy of that dashboard, by default, Looker gives the name like this copy of GTS58. And if you go to resources, click on it and click on manage added data sources, you will see all the data sources that you have used in your previous version of the dashboard. All the data sources are present over here. Now you can go ahead and play around and add the changes and then you can save this dashboard as the newer version and discard this previous version dashboard. So this is how you create a copy of existing report in Looker. Happy learning and see you in the next video.